Hamas rockets hit Dimona for the first time ever. TV Israel said that, near the nuclear reactor and facilities in Dimona, Al Qasim rocket breached the Iron Dome and almost made Tel Aviv, like the second Hiroshima. So Hamas is not joking around. Once they hit Dimona nuclear reactor, Tel Aviv and surrounded cities would be flattened to the ground. This major targeting is due to the response to the ground battle that Israel was launched before. And it's not just self-claiming by Hamas. Cause Israel shared the victim of Dimona, which is the farthest range of rockets that could be reached by Hamas from Gaza. Al Qasim Brigade Authority said, Israel threatened us with ground attack. I tell him that, O son of a Jew, do you threaten us with what we are waiting for? And it's not only a pluffing. Israel ground attack through Gaza is now being withdrawn, as their loss of tanks and soldier casualties by Hamas guerrilla on the ground battle. Israel wouldn't last any longer. On the ground battle against Hamas guerrilla in Gaza, they got fully equipped, but their lack of information on the battlefield. Hamas had more control on that location. The tunnel, the best route, the interception methods, the hit and run strategy, make them the hardest target to be located. You can see how Israel demolish Gaza. They bomb hospitals, they bomb schools, they bombed everything but Hamas. It indicated that Israel literally could not locate Hamas. They just picked some random targets to run the genocide to the Palestinians. So that's why Hamas keep launching their rockets to Tel Aviv. At least it would make Israel busy with their Iron Dome. It drained their defense system. It drained their financial. It drained their attention. So the bombing of Gaza may reduced. And the more Iron Dome worked, the more cost would be increasing. And the more accuracy would be decreasing. And it's just a matter of time. When Hamas rocket hits the nuclear facilities in Dimona, Tel Aviv and Israel would vanish by their own weapon. End of story. But now, when they realize it, they protested their home government, Netanyahu, blaming him to be responsible for the failure of national security. What a weird scenario. And I could guess, when the Iron Dome is no longer sustainable to defend Israel from Hamas rockets, they would shout ceasefire. But the damage is done. So if Hamas breaks the ceasefire, they would throw the accusation and blow it up to the world. But when they are breaking the ceasefire, they would make a million excuses, and the world could only talk about it. So I think, Demona is the only solution. It would detonate the peace on the world. A world that would be peace without Israel on it.